Okay, so, what do you think? In my dream, Ryan was going to Chicago for something, probably work. And I wasn't there, it was like I was watching the whole thing. And, um, so Ryan arrives in Chicago, and somehow Freddie Lee found out he was going to Chicago. So he's waiting at the airport for Ryan. Um, and then Ryan, um, uh, just decides to go with him instead of calling a cab because Freddie's right there. Which is totally what Ryan would do. <laughs> he wouldn't bother calling a cab or anything. Somebody was there to pick him up. And then he said, uh, and then, uh, so he gets in with him and, um, Freddie starts, like, telling him how ghetto he is and all this <laughs> and, and, like, he's, he's, like, the big badass gangster dude, whatever, and, and that he's, like, and then he starts telling Ryan that he's, like, turning black, he can feel it says it's his body is changing and he's becoming a black man or something and he like really believes it but he sounds like really crazy and he's like going on and on and on and telling Ryan how black he is and how he's like like getting like really agitated and angry and crazy and he says um, and then he says that he left his wife and his kids to go be with a black woman because now that he's turning black he needs a black woman and then he starts um, going to these ghettos around Chicago and he gets out of his car and he's like oh, oh I'm so black I can do this or that or whatever and like then trying to act like all gangster and like real stupid stuff um, like, you see those white kid wannabe gangsters doing? <laughs> and, um, and he's, like, rapping and stuff, and he's just, like, making a fool of himself, but he's, like, totally serious, like, he thinks this is for real. And so he keeps going to these different ghettos and doing this stuff, and then eventually he gets to, like, this really scary ghetto, and it's, like, um, <laughs> and it looks like standoff. <laughs> <laughs> like if you've ever seen what standoff used to look like in like the early 90s and the 80s it was a really scary place um, can't explain what standoff is because most people aren't gonna yeah you, you're probably not going to get it but yeah it was like a it was a scary place to be around in the early 90s and the during the 80s so that's the only thing that I can liken it to because that's what I know, but so it's like this really scary place and Standoff is a town site on the Blood a, Indian Reserve. It's a, it's a town site for the Bloods. But um, anyway, so this this town site or, or this ghetto that he goes to, it's like a scary ass ghetto and and um, and it's like a place that you really, really don't want to be. And so he is so he jumps out of his car and he's all like trying to be gangster and whatever and and doing his gangster shit and um and he's doing his rapping and stuff and then like these these um real gangsters come out of nowhere and they're like what the fuck you think you're doing kind of thing and you know who the fuck you think you are some some guy trying to be black whatever and and you can tell like Freddie's scared, but at the same time he's um, trying to act tough because Ryan's there. And and then uh, so these guys like beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> they like beat the shit out of him and are like making fun of him and calling him down on that. And they're like, "You're not a black man. You're you're you know, a Chinese man and whatever." And and stop trying to pretend like you're black and everything. And and they're really like making fun of him and like while they're beating him up and stuff and then he gets away and he jumps in his car and he's all like freaked out and whatever and he takes off <laughs> and then Ryan's like 
so you're black, huh? And he's just like, shut up. You know, like, I don't want to talk about it. Whatever. And Haran's like laughing at him. And he's like, yeah, I thought these people were your people. And, and uh, he's like, well, they are. They just don't know it yet. Kind of thing. And because and, I haven't fully turned black yet. And only some parts of my body are black and stuff like this. And Haran's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, he's just, like, completely, like, off his neck, and he, like, totally thinks he's, he's, like, turning black and, and all this, and, and I think a lot of that comes from, I was stressed out because Ryan's going to uh, New York today, so, and we just moved into a new house, so, um, me and the animals and and our daughter are going to be alone here for a few days and whatever. And, um, you know, and that's like in the same part of the country where Chicago is. And I just put that together in my mind with like the crazy shit that Freddie was doing before. I don't know. I haven't paid attention to him for a long time. So I don't know if he's still doing crazy shit, but like all the crazy shit that he was doing before where he's like pretending to be black. And I think just somehow my mind put that together. It was just crazy, so, and when I woke up, I had to tell Ryan about it, because it was just such a crazy-ass dream, but it totally seems like something that Freddie would do, and Ryan would totally jump in with him if Freddie was at the airport to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs>